Hello and welcome back everyone, Emblem on a Banana, and this is Mount and Blade Warband. We're back once again near Tilbot Castle, which I think we just got in the last episode? I'm not sure. Anyways, it's under siege again, so it looks like... Well, it's not under siege. What the hell? What the hell, game? Don't tell me it's under siege when it's not. I... I was pretty sure that there were some Kurgits nearby, which I don't like, and I have absolutely no interest in fighting more Kurgits. And that's mostly because, guess what? Our party shrunk again. We have absolutely no low-level troops again, and we have no high-level troops again. They are all almost mid-tier. Um, I mean, yeah, that sharpshooter is uh, max level and this sharpshooter is max level, but the rest, I think, they are just one below, so these upgrade to Huskals just once, and the rest's like, yeah, well, we're okay. The Swadian footmen are three below the top tier, so men-at-arms uh, are the, the mounted units, and then they can be upgraded to knights. So, yeah, that's something. Also, didn't I just read? No, wait a second, it's under recent messages. A small band of enemies has been spotted nearby, so near Derika's castle, and that's where we are, so let's take a look here. Huh. If they're going to burn down my city, I'm gonna be... Alright, I was just, just about to say I'm gonna be really pissed. Stop burning down my castle. Ah, my holding, it's not a castle. Also, it, I think it's pretty interesting. I think I've noticed this during, well, in between episodes, most more likely. Uh, reports, I think? Character report? Yeah, I'm a lord. I'm So we have one estate, which is this single town, basically. We have no friends, we have no enemies, so that's okay. We have quite some right to rule. I don't think that's high enough. Our honor is alright, and we have pretty kind of a lot of, of renown that's that's good but we are a lord which is interesting to me what's what's a lord i mean all these other guys are counts so they i mean he's a jarl that's something different that's just a i think a norse uh wait way for uh, a norse title for basically the same thing Eh, crap. And we need to run around and recruit again. No! Tredian, you noob! Oh well, I was there. I know what happened. Yeah, and he gave it to himself. This mother... F um... <sighs> what a bastard! This stupid asshole! Come on! Really? I told him to take it, I helped him take it, and then he's like, oh, well, all me, that was all me, it's all mine. It's all mine, go away, no one helped. I mean, okay, well, to be honest, he had 200, and, okay, let's just say around 300 men, and uh, yeah, we basically had just 30 or something, but still, I think I, I demand, I demand some... Recognition for that. Oh, well, I, I think I can demand all I want. I won't get it. So let's buy some cheap, cheap as salt because it's great. And even cheaper smoked fish, which also great. It's a pretty good, I don't know, uh, pretty, pretty good uh, food because it doesn't turn bad, it doesn't go bad. Alright, so a crude plate armor for 10... Okay, we don't have 10 grand. That's, by the way, this... Uh, I have, it's it's French, okay? I, I don't... I have no clue. But that's the armor that the... Huskals are wearing. If you... If I don't... Uh, if I haven't told you. Let's see. Hmm. I mean... It's okay. Could be... Could be good. Also, four grand is not too bad. It's almost... It's nine more body armor and it's basically 
doubles our leg armor. Uh, the banner looks stupid as hell on the on the surcoat uh, or the tabard actually. Nah, not interested. I don't have the money at the moment. Let's see if we can uh, if we can find Lesolit or Lesolit. I have no idea how he's pronounced. Oh, it's a bill. Oh, come on. Well, you wanna fight? You can get it. Come. Come on. What a waste. Well, he had it coming. He had it coming. That's that is a reason why you shouldn't get drunk, by the way. If you're if you're the person that gets violent when it gets drunk, then you stop you should stop drinking. Or just drink less. Seriously. Those are the people that I, I like the least, really. When they're drunk, of course, so they can be really friendly when they're not, but I know some of those who get really weird. Oh, we go oh what? Four? One against four? You really wanna do this? Okay, let's try to get some distance in here. Let's try not to get stuck in some fence. I'm not. It's the first recording of the day. So I... I'm not on my A-game level here. Hey, 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 hey. You trying to... You, you trying to shoot me? Really? Asshole. Got them all. So we freed this little town. Let's recruit some... Ah, oh, come on. I need my host calls. Nobody willing to, to level up, to step up. To be the man they should be. Nobody... Ah, see? There are five people that think they have what it takes to be, uh, well, a member of our party and defeat freaking sea raiders and... Mountain bandits and tiger bandits and step bandits and I can go on and on and on and on about bandits because there's a great variety of bandits in this game, which is nice, you know, have to change it up a bit. So let's see. There they are, our enemies. Hold your fire until you, until you see the white in their eyes or something like that. A good tactic against this would be just close your eyes all the time and just charge blindfolded or something. Ha ha ha. Ha. Great. Great joke. I know. Thanks. Alright. Ooh, what a nice throw. Ow! You serious? Let's... Come on, cavalry. You were, you're up. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting my friends. Oh, wait a second, I have another uh, another armored horse. So, who's the lucky man to get it? I just wanted to say who's the lucky man or woman, but then I remembered uh, Mathel already has her armored horse. So, she doesn't need a second one. There she is. Ah, missed. I think... I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll take Borch's bow. Uh, no, not the bow. Borch's uh, sword and shield, and just give him the give him more more bolts. I think you can give him more than one bolt. I think I'll let the infantry advance a bit. Let's get them behind this little hill, so they are not the prime targets for their throwing weapons. And I think now you can charge. I'm, I'm fine with that. Even more enemies on the horizon? Look at that! It's a weird tactic. Why not deploy all your, your troops at once would be way smarter, but okay. No, not the fell. Why? She got knocked the hell out, as usual. But this time, the 
this time her horse didn't, didn't get knocked out. That's that's interesting. Well, as long as she doesn't get knocked up, it's alright. And boom. That would be weird, really. In the midst of the battle. And yeah, see, he should just stay the hell back here and just fire your freaking crossbow. Okay, you you're all coming with me. That's fine. I have a lot of arch archers there. Oh, well, not a lot, but some that would like to introduce you to their good friends, arrows or bolts, actually, because we have crossbow men, not real archers. And, oh, we blocked it. I thought I, oh, nice shot. Oh, that was Borcha, actually. Nice one, Borcha. I don't, I don't seem to do well in these situations usually, so, I don't know. Ah, missed. But the horse did the job, which is rendering our enemy incapable of fighting on. It's not necessary that I kill them, right? I mean, it's... A necessary evil. I just want to make them stop fighting us, basically. That's all I want. If they die in the process, well, can't can't be bothered with that. So I might. Oh, just two. Wow, that's not good. I could upgrade five men at arms, so I have I would have five more cavalry, which would be great. That's a nice head you have on your shoulders. Oh. Whoops. Eh, whatever. Should be okay. And it's actually a pretty even battle coming from the bottom left corner where it said battle advantage equals zero. I think if it's negative, the enemy gets to deploy more units than you. And if it's positive, well, you get to deploy more, and if it's negative, oh, I just said that, and if it's zero, it's, it's basically the same amount. Ow! Crap, that was bad. I think Borch is the only one that we have at the moment that's mounted, so... Wow. Let's try and avoid as many of throwing objects, or thrown objects, objects actually as possible um, just because they deplete rather rapidly I think you can only carry like five throwing axes and I think seven javelins or something oh, well that's a stack I mean hey 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 stop it not hitting anything at the moment which is rather disappointing maybe not not so much for you but well, I guess, for you too. Mostly for me, I, want, I wanted to say, because I, I hate when I'm playing poorly. That's... Oh, that was better. Nope. Stop that. So, reinforcements? Yes, no? No? Okay. Uh, yep, there they are. Ay, 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 gain it. Taking damage left, right, and center here. And missing shots. Well, not really shots, but... I could miss shots too, if you want me to. Aha! Gotcha! But I don't think it's smart to use... my bow against these guys. Mainly because they could just swap to... There, the bow... Or a javelin, and then I just get old. <laughs> this guy is really, really cool here. But just five meters in front of the infantry line. I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna shoot you. Well, actually, he did, so. You're ah, I knew it, he would. Loose, uh, loosen the arrow. And let's see, you, sir. 
Uh, Christ, I missed the guy that I actually wanted to hit. See, that's the one that... You be afraid of those throwing axes and uh, javelins. I think I, I've mentioned it before, but they could really mess up your face and your day. Uh, come on. Kill them. Kill them all! And now just stay here. I don't want to get them killed against that many Sea Raiders. I think now we can. Let them loose. And... That was bad. Once again, I ran into a spear. Sucks. And... Please stay there. Do not. You need to be a Zerg Ball, people. Don't engage people one. Uh, don't engage the Sea Raiders one on one. You're not stronger than they are. Most likely not. I just recruited you from some stupid ass village. So. All right. That's the last guy. I think someone's running away. Ah, there he is. Oh, I hit him. Amazing. And again. And there you go. Oh, look at that. My horse has a arrow stuck through his eye. Ouch. That's bad. So we lost a veteran crossbowman. It's all right. Not great. Not great, but okay-ish. Could have been way worse. So now we have an advantage. We gain some renown. Not much, but still. And of course, a win, uh, a win on the battlefield is always worth some morale, which is also great. So let's put everybody up on this hill, because I like hills. They are great for defensive purposes, of course. You stop sniping my guys, I don't like it. You stop sniping me. And yeah, you, you again, stop snip. Hey, 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 stop it. There you go. Delivering the pain. Pain train. Would you not do that? I know I told you to move over there, but... Let's put the archers more over there. No! Those are all the archers. Oh, that's not good. Ah, that was a poor decision on my part. I agree. Okay. There you go. That was a poor decision on my part. I admit that. I screwed up. I cost us a good amount of... Well, troops, mainly. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not two-handed axe me in the head. I don't like it. Ow! I think I got stabbed. Yeah, most likely. Would you stop it? Come on. Use all your spears, try to hit me, and just don't do it. Uh, it's it's not not a good not a good session here for me. I'm not playing well. I mean, to be honest, I'm doing most of the work here anyway, so I think it's it's okay what I'm doing here. I mean, other than I might not be the most capable commander, you know, I've I've just had really poor decisions, but I'm a pretty good warrior. It seems like. Killed more than anybody on the field here. Lost a huge chunk of exp uh, of HP, not XP. XP, that is. Experience points. And, you know, just leveling up my bow proficiency. It's okay. Uh, lost a footman, that's... Yeah, alright. The veteran crossbowmen are those that hurt. We could gain some... Ugh, not archers. Pff, no, no thanks. Peasant woman? Nah. Farmers? Nah. You're free. Free to go. Just move along. Let's see, is there anything that we don't want in here? Yeah, the shields are usually pretty cheap. 
better. Okay, so let's move on to river check and let's upgrade these to footman, these to veteran. I lost a man. Ah, oh, no. Crap, I said it was alright. No, it wasn't. I should have upgraded them. Oh well, got a lot of sharpshooters again. I think it's greedy to not upgrade them right now. Don't know. Really? Another ambush? You kidding me? Yeah, nice try. Ow! I thought I've brought my shield up in time. And good night. Always for good measure. One to the head while he's on the ground. You never know, you never know. So let's just let me go to the goods merchant, goddammit. I'm really happy that they open uh, they have opened like uh, 24/7. That's great. I mean, it's amazing. But to be honest, that's more more or less just quality of life if I'm honest with you. And I'm talking about uh, quality of life in uh, the game in, from the game perspective, gameplay perspective. I mean, it would be pretty annoying if you're like, oh, it's night, I have to wait till day until the shops open. I think it's it's a good decision on their part to let them open 24-7, or let the shops be open 24-7. I actually want a large bag of bolts, and maybe another another one. Yep, that's good. Let's go to the tavern, let's see if we can find... Someone... Nope, that's not the guy. That's not the guy. Sadly, nobody's here. And now, uh, let's see... I think Borcha. Let's talk to this fella. First of all, he leveled up, so let's see what he can do. He's my spotting... No, he's my pathfinding guy, right? Pathfinding and tracking. I don't, I don't think tracking is that valuable. Spotting, on the other hand, could help a lot, so let's go spotting. That's basically, as you can see in the top right corner, it's uh, the the range, the vision of the how far you can see, basically. Which is good, it's really good. And I might invest into something like horse archery on with him. But it's just... Archery and throwing, and I don't know if crossbows are actually included. It doesn't seem like it. I mean, I could just try to go, you know, power power draw. And then horse archery, because I don't think it's smart to go way higher than 15. Let's keep that in mind, though. Also, give me a freaking sword. Ah, see, I should have sold these two things. And let's give you another bag of bolts. Why? Well, this way he will not just charge in and he has not the, the fastest horse. But I maybe get him some something fast and maybe I'll use him just, you know, as a... Uh, well, classic horse archer guy circling and trying to, to just snipe people. That should help. Oh. I almost forgot. I also wanted to talk to Rolf. Good sir, let me see your equipment. And congratulations! No, you can't use it. Ugh. Well, then let me, t let me tell you what you should learn. First of all... Oh, damn it, we're not even close to riding four. Riding three. Well... Okay. Uh, you should also level your leadership because he is a noble that means he can be uh, well he can be a leader which is great so I want him to as, as soon as I I'm some kind of lord not just this lord lord but I have a castle and stuff or even more than one holding I want someone to give my land away to, to have vassals and uh, Matheld and Rolf are both pretty good Good vassals. Alright, so we've done that, that's good. And basically what we're going to... Whoa, hey, stop that. Everybody level up. 
You know, let's go with go full out full on out on the Swadian. The Swadians here. Your money or your let's take them. So basically what we need to do is we want to level up our troops again. I know, I know, it's boring. I get it. It's true. But the thing is, your troops are your bread and butter, basically. You can't you can't do anything without your troops. Um, I shouldn't have let them charge, actually. I want you to follow me, yeah. Um, alright, alright. Let's move you to the flank. Uh, let's charge, anyway. Oh, that was close. Ah, good shot, Artie. He's... He's becoming a really, really, really good... Uh, horse archer. Ah, uh, not horse archer. Archer. Crossbowman. He's good. Uh, that's, 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 that's what I basically wanted to say. He's good. I like him. And I hate that you always have to... Wow. To micromanage your stupid cavalry. You need to do that, because they're stupid as hell. So they charged, and now... Get back. Get out of there. Come on. Move it. And as soon as you're far enough away, you can charge again. They just tend to get stuck. They just really, they tend to get stuck in a... In a giant mess of enemies and then they die. Basically what you want to see... There he goes. First guy is unconscious. Oops. Not unnamed, I don't want the unnamed guys. It was a button press on, on the side buttons of my mouse. Which happens from time to time. Alright, got them and they should fight this last guy? Is it? Yeah. Or is it? No, they're charging s Oh, look at that. Someone's trying to get away. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, come on. And dead. Lanced him. Great. So basically what is really nice, and if you've seen it, seen the fight against the Kurgits, uh, you know what a good cavalry can do, but you need a lot of them. That's the thing. Basically the same as archers, usually. Single archer? Eh, not really. Not really that great. Ten thousands of them? Hmm. They can do some damage. Alright, so anything here that's worth buying? Nope. You have enough money to... Nope. Not really. He doesn't have enough money to buy and sell everything. So that's, I think, what I'm going to do for now. I'm gonna sell all this. Ah, we are over the limit. Ah, oh, that's okay. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do, and maybe I'm, I'm going to do this in between episodes because it takes a long time. I'm gonna go on a recruiting spree again. I'm gonna recruit more Nords, maybe more Swadians. Some Rodox, because those are my favorite troops. Not to scoff at the Vagirs, they have some really good offensive capabilities, but I don't really like them that much. I mean, you could throw some some Knights, some Vagir Knights in there, but eh. I'll rather take a Huskull with a shield over a, a Vagir Knight with a two-handed axe. So yeah, I'm gonna recruit, fight a lot of bandits, alongside the way and or just along the way and level them up to be another good troop our company is limit is limited to 90 people and i'm i think 70 would be great if we can get up there so the other thing we need more money as usual we need more productive enterprises and then we might be able to take uh bulaban castle this is usually a Bulaban uh, uh, Sanguche, Sanguche castle. I have no idea. These two are usually easy to take. And the same goes for, ne for Nelek. 
So usually this is the area that I expand or that I start to grow my, my own kingdom. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope to see you next time. If you liked it, please consider pressing the like button and leaving a comment. It's also very appreciated. And as always, auf Wiedersehen.